In today's video, we're checking on my $1,000 TCG purchase, and we're gonna check on the ones from the last two years as well. Let's see how much money I've lost. All right, guys, before we hop into it, we're doing a $50 TCG player gift card giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Did we make any money on any year? Like, did anything go up? Which is, it's pretty unusual, but let me know down below. Let's get to it. All right, right off the bat, let's just start off. I think we should probably start with year one. I mean, we have a lot to go through. So we have year one, two, and now three. So we have three separate years. I'm gonna go through these pretty quick because now that we have three separate years to check, the video could be really, really long. So first off, let's go check on our blue eyes, ulti blue eyes. They've not been performing that well. All right, blue eyes, white dragon, baby. Give us some money. Blue eyes, ulti, first edition. I've got a little story, by the way. When we get to year three, uh, we've got a little story going on. So if you, a little teaser for that. You guys will hear that later on. There's a little story going on with one of the cards. Okay, five, four, this is weird shipping. We'll do 455, I guess. This is first at, oh, and I had to do light play because, you know, we, we didn't return it and yada, yada. I know we've lost... $21, 82% of our money. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. It, it, not, just pretend like it didn't happen. Okay, near mint unlimited. We're definitely making our money back. 335, definitely, right? No, we're not. We're down 57%. All right, Silent Swordsman, another one that would have performed well had I returned it and got another one. The thing is, would I have been able to get one? Maybe, maybe not. Not really sure. This is a beautiful looking card. By the way, I still have all these cards. The only ones I've sold were the Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmares from year two. So I have all these cards still and uh, regretting it a little bit. Should have sold them. Okay, 56, 22. Just kidding. These are cool cards. So I'm not, it's it's all right. So it's, it's fine that we spent $3,000 on TCG player and probably have like none of our money left. Hey, look, we only lost 35% of our money. Not too bad. Astral Leviathan. Surely that'll help us, right? Yeah, Leviathan Dragon. Yeah, getting more prints recently, I think. Or did they print this? No, they printed Utopia. Oh, great. Yeah, I think we bought a Utopia too, didn't we? Let's see. Near Mint First Ed. Still 110 bucks. 34.95. Okay, this is literally getting worse. How is this getting worse? We've lost 74, $75. Oh, that's the biggest number. Like the percentage isn't as bad as the blue eyes, but we only spent a total of $26. We spent $110 on the Leviathan. What a stupid decision. Lightning Storm might be able to upstage it though. I think we're gonna be losing more money on this one. This one was actually doing well for a while, but then, uh, you know, rarity collection happened. So yeah, this thing is not gonna be holding up so hot. Let oh my, that's just in the last three months. Let's look at the last year. This is where we were. This is where it is now. $79.95. Oh my goodness. Starlight Rare. R.I.P. Starlight Rares. I mean, completely getting waxed. Solemn Warning. We're flying through this, as I said, but holy crap. Well, oh no. Chill out, keyboard. My keyboard is now Sticky King constantly, and I don't know why. It's like new, so I don't know how it's happening already. It's like malfunctioning or something. It's really unfortunate. Oh, wait, this is this is getting a print rarity collection too, so it'll get crushed, don't worry. Not, have no fear. This is a $2.99 shipping, so we're gonna make that $56.26 instead of $54. 5626. Uh wow, only $13. <laughs> it's the closest we've gotten. Only we lost less than 20% of our money, slightly less. A Dusty Gold, okay. Evil Hero, a Dusty Gold, had a red and blue print since then. Secret Rare Brothers of Legend, this was a terrible decision, 298. Let's go, yeah, Elem or Elemental Hero Stratos, isn't isn't Stratos in Rarity Collection too as well? They're personally targeting. Like Konami's like, okay, what did Ruxin invest in in his $1,000 TCG player purchase? We're gonna reprint those in Rarity Collection. I think that's what's happening because they're targeting our cards. All right, $99.95 for verified. $99.95. Don't worry, guys. We only lost $50.04. This first year is getting depressing. So it looks like I'm hoping that what happens at some point, like in like year seven of this series, if we keep going that long, is that like eventually some of these cards, like they get their reprints, they get destroyed, and then they slowly start taking back up. The question is, will they ever get back to that price that they were at when we bought them? Probably not. But maybe in like 10, 15 years, we'll be able to see them go and then just slowly make their way back up. That's what I'm hoping. That's really all I can hope for at this point because we are getting absolutely massacred. Red Eyes Flare Metal. Okay, Red Eyes Flare Metal Ghost. Near Mint. This one actually was Near Mint First Dead. Oh, 63.95. Wow, what? This thing's that cheap? Oh, Rarity Collection. <laughs> Curse you, Rarity Collection. They literally reprinted like three of the cards in here. Four of the cards if you include Rarity Collection too. So Flare Metal. Lightning Storm, Solemn Morning's upcoming, 
I think uh, Stratos is upcoming. I'm sure Blue Eyes will be in something at some point. I mean, it's as a million. Leviathan Dragon is probably going to be in Brothers of Legend reprint number seven or whatever. Where's Triumph deck? This is the only one holding up because you can't really, they're not going to reprint. Well, actually, they might. I say that. I say that. I shouldn't say anything. They'll reprint it. Uh, okay, Verified 80. This is $15 shipping. I think this is the same guy as last year. I'm pretty sure last time we checked out, or last three months ago, whatever. So I think we put that at 95. Or we, well, I guess we take $4 off, $5 off for shipping. Let's call it 90, 99. As you can see, it looks like the sealed product was our best choice. We only lost 8%. We have literally lost 50%. Let's see what it was last time. Hey, we actually did... Check last time right here. You guys can see we, we had 490 lost. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's lost. OK, here's what we had. So we've technically lost uh, about 17 bucks since last time. Here's the original. So the first time we went up 27 bucks, then we we're down a little bit. Then we're down a little bit more. You can see the progression. 660 bucks, three, uh, 551 bucks, 510 bucks. 493 we're literally at like less than 50 percent value of what we spent it's absolutely terrible let's just go to year two and see if it'll be a little better all right sky striker a's rose let's keep going uh i don't know maybe these will be a little better maybe these will be a little better because they are not so old but maybe not let's see 24 cents so we bought three of them so so we lost 260 wow these are worth nothing now okay dark arm dragon i know this one hasn't held up very well but it shouldn't be like as bad as some of the other ones we've seen because it hasn't had a million prints. So uh, near mint though, near mint, $34.95. It's not horrible. Just being in the ballpark these days is great. Colossal Fighter uh, eventually is going to get a reprint for, I really should sell this because it's going to get a reprint for Edison and then it's going to be very, very cheap. Okay, uh, Colossal Fighter Ultimate. Okay, this actually has pictures. Sometimes I skip these because I think they're foreign. Uh, $99.99 for that one. It has pictures. It's the only one. Is it actually near mint? Uh, it's hard to tell from that picture. Uh, Edgeware a little bit. That picture is pretty sketchy. So let's see. Let's see if there's any. Have there been any sales recently that co corroborate a $100 one? They've been selling 116, 110, 112, 140. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the non-picture one because I can't really even see that picture. 114.93. 114.93. We've actually. Wow, I need to sell this card. This card is worth 34 more or 26 more dollars. Ally of Justice Cataster. I mean, this is our only chance to lock in any profits. But at the same time, you know, maybe we just hang on to it and just let it ride. You know, $100 on that one. We've actually made money on those two. Thank you, Edison Format. The only thing that's carrying this series. Ash Blossom and Joyous String. We have, string. Ash Blossom and Joyous String. That's okay. And that is not what we're looking for. Okay, we had the Mega Tin version. Where are they? Tin of Pharaoh Gods. This is... Eh? <laughs> Five nine nine. That's what I'm talking about. We're making our way back up. All right, we have still lost twenty four dollars, but hey, we're making our way back up. Pot of Desires Ulti. This one I remember was not in the condition it was stated. It had a big old blob on the back, and it had Rarity Collection reprint. So twenty four twenty six, even for near mint. Ours was not near mint, but that's fine. Uh, Trap Trick Trap Old Nightmare. We locked this in at what was this? What was the sale at? 292.26. That's the only reason this year is going to hold up at all. Toon Black Luster Soldier. Let's see if these have made a run at all. We have the Secret Rares. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't even know what that sound was. 1116. I sold all of mine to Sassiato for like really cheap. So congrats, Sassiato. Besides this one that I bought on TCG Player. But hey, a 42% increase. Instant Fusion, that's why I should, I should just ask Sassy Auto next year. What should I invest in? That, then I'll actually like do something. I'll actually get something good. Uh, cause he's a genius. 129.90. Wait, what? Instant Fusion on the come up? 7%? Okay. I like it. Night Beam. Up next, Instant Fusion. We are, we need to be celebrating this. This is insane. Night Beam. What, 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 what do you got? What, what, 1094, that's about what we paid, I think. 10.94 10 times. Some of these were not, were not near mint, but I, I don't think we cared. Baxia, what you got for us? Ultimate rare, first edition, 1799. So that's not gonna quite cut it. Yazzie, Evil of the Angzing. So, so far, this has been a much better year than the previous because we're actually making money on a couple cards, which is great to see. 1248. Uh, not on that one. That one got killed. I think that one was, I might have been Rarity Collection too. Rescue Rabbit, because every single card ever was in Rarity Collection or Rarity Collection too. So it's gonna be hard for this series going forward. Okay, we didn't buy a CR, we bought. A secret, right? Okay, secret rare. Near mint. Oh, what, what the? 
Why are you rolling me up? Stop rolling me up. Stop doing that. 1594 for first dead. Losing money on that one. Rising energy. I feel like that could have been. I, I feel like everything was in rarity collection. I can't even remember. Rising energy. We collected all the cards, so I have them somewhere. First ed, near mint. I've got a story to still tell about year three. So yeah, it, it's a wild one. It is pretty unfortunate. I'll say that. Whoa. Oh, that's times two. That's why I was like, what the? Yeah, we knew we overinvested in that one. Fiber jar. Yeah, we got a refund for that after like two months. It took forever. Troll and Lockbird. I think these were doing good last time. Let's see if they still are. Troll and Lockbird, regular rare from Tama. $4. Holy crap. We bought these on the cheap. Oh my goodness. That times four bucks. That is $12. We made 700. Wow. 757% increase. That was a good investment on those Troll and Lockbirds. They were literally uh, $1.40 divided by three. That's how much they were, like 40 something cents. Gate Guardian, we, oh, here's a big one. Here's a big L. This is why you can't let chat decide for you, okay? Midterm Paradox, baby. These suckers are worth. There is literally a three cent listing with three cent sales. Three cents. We paid like $5 each. Oh my goodness. Three cents. All 23 are worth 69 cents now. One of them, we paid like 10 times as much for one that 23 of them are worth. We lost 99% of the value. That's like buying like a crypto and it just of course inevitably goes to zero. That's what just happened there. Wow, that is that is sad. Okay, that is completely just complete destruction of the wallet right there. Just don't even ever consider investing in a speed duel secret rare of Gate Guardian. It is a bad, bad idea, which now they're three cents. So maybe like you could actually make some penny songs off of it, <laughs> you know, because it's worth nothing. All right, uh, $64.99, collector's cash. There we go. And Petite Moth, 14 of those. Pecanio Moth, of course, these made money because they're the rarest cards out there. Uh, Petite Moth, Metal Raiders. Let's see, these are 26 cents. That is unbelievable, completely false. I don't believe it for one second. We lost 58%. So overall, we made 2% on our money. We made half as much as it just putting it in a uh, high yield shape savings account. Who is proud, guys? We did a great job. So proud of us. We could have just put it in a savings account. Not even worried about it. We didn't even consider tax, so we lost money. Okay, but get, get, guess what, guys? There's still year three. Nothing to worry about. This is going to be a longer one. All right, for some reason, this one's not listed separately as the ghost, so I'm going to have to go find it. Uh, Gold ghost. There it is. So it always makes it difficult. Near mint. 25 at 98. So, yes, we have, in fact, made money on that one. That's nice. Dogmatica Ecclesia Ultimate Rare. I remember this being really cheap. Let's see if it still is. I think it still is, to be honest. So, maybe we'll have a little bit more time. It'll go up. Near Mint, 12 whole dollar race. We did not make money there. Nekagal number one. Let's see. One of the meme purchases. Somebody donated for that one. Nekagal number one. Uh, Near Mint, anybody? 175 so that's not gonna hold up oh wait no no it's not we are losing money on the neck of galls trap tricks or fleas yet trap tricks was good to us last time but there's no trap tricks trucks or deck coming out this year so it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for us to make money on this uh 2168 hey we did it we made a little bit of money. All right, 25th anniversary. No, look, the LOB boxes did go up. Legend of Blue Eyes, these went up to like a hundred something dollars. Yeah, 109.99. So stonks, we should have done more of those. And I think these will hold up because these aren't just going to get an immediate reprint. Little D up next. So uh, the stonks, as you can see, 25th anniversary boxes. I do believe in those. They're very solid. So I'm very pumped that that worked out. And if you guys want to see any of the videos previously where we uh, actually bought these cards, where we opened the mail for them, go check them out on the screen right here. They'll be up. Uh, there's a whole playlist for the 1K investment because you do this many times a year, probably like six videos a year on this. Judge, okay, here we go. Here's the story. Judgment Dragon. You guys may have seen the mail day. If you didn't, go check it out. Where we got the Judgment Dragon back, the guy said, it's near mint. I look at it, there's a bend all the way through the card. So I hit up the guy, hey, this card has a bend in. He's like, okay, you can return it. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I return it to him. He offers another card. I look at it. He said, he's like, oh, I got one here that's lightly played that you could take with a little refund. I looked at it. I thought it was like heavy play, to be honest. So I just said no. So we didn't do that. So I returned it, got a refund, which was great. Put out a little post on Instagram. Hey, anybody got a Judgment Dragon? Get a message from Tricky Ending on Instagram. I've met him, card party, really cool guy. It's like, I got one. And I was like, okay, I'll pay you the, the 180 we paid 
like for the other one. He's like, no, dude, don't worry about it. You don't need to pay that much. Just pay a hundred. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, sure, sure. I'm like, all right, sure. So I, so he sent it to me. I paid him a hundred bucks, whatever. And guess what happens? It gets lost. Yeah, so first, the first one's bad condition. Replacement one was not in good condition either. Reliable seller, I knew would actually have a nice near mint copy for me. Offers it to me, not even for 100, for 100, not even for 180, for 100 bucks. So giving us a big discount just because they're like, I got it for 100, you can have it for 100. And I was like, that's super clutch. And it gets lost. And to top it all off, he threw in a little bonus pack for us to open, a heavy Stardust Overdrive. So we literally... Didn't get the card like multiple times and he threw in a heavy starter sort of drive pack we were going to get to open. So that got lost. Shout out to the post office for being awesome. Just kidding. They're terrible. Every time I go in, I wait 45 minutes to pick up my mail. So annoying. So yeah, uh, unfortunate. I, there are some people at the post office, though. If you do see this at the post office, I like some of you, you guys that work in there, but sometimes it's rough. Okay. But yeah, that's what happened with Judgment Dragon. Very sad, very disappointing to be honest, because tricky ending, go check him out on Instagram, threw in a free pack for, and he didn't make any money on the card, threw in a free pack and it gets, of course gets lost. So even refunds, I'm like, dude, don't worry about refunding me. He refunds me anyway. So right now we're just going to calculate it like we have, like we have one. I'm going to try to find another one. If you guys have a Judgment Dragon, hit me up because I'm still trying to, I haven't actually spent our 1k because I got a refund for it. So twice, twice. So it's stupid. It's cursed. Give me one that I will not be cursed on. Maybe when I go to an event this year, I can find one and buy one. And then that way, like, I know it won't get lost in the mail and I can look at the condition and everything. Okay, so that was a super sad story. That's what happened, unfortunately. Let's see what the near mint cost is. First edition. It is 19995. Okay, 19995. Very nice. Uh, looking good on that one, actually. Too bad we don't actually have the card. That would help. Okay, Zushin. Or let's go for that one, Zoot. Yeah, very cool card. Yada, yada. Okay, I guess it's Unleashed, right? Yeah, it's the older one. This one is nine cents. So, uh, okay, we've somehow lost money on this card. Equals. Why would I make two? I don't know why I made two lines for this, but there's two lines. So I guess because two different packages, which just made it easier. So, yeah, so we lost money even on the 19 cent card. It still went down somehow. Oh, because some we had to pay 21 cents. I see. Mirage of Nightmare. Uh, No, no, no. More Zushin. More Zushin. I guess we had to play 25 cents on those. So we are taking a big L on those. Mirage of Nightmare up next. As you can see, not exactly an exciting uh, exciting check-in this time. We kind of got waxed this time. Mirage of Nightmare, 550. Okay. 5.50. We got three of these, actually. So we actually got multiple quantities on a lot of things, which we don't normally do, or not this much at least. Okay, so that one still taking an L. Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. This one will be interesting because it was pretty cheap when we bought it. Not the Starlight Rare. It would be pretty cool. We got what did we get? The Burst of Destiny or the get the secret. I think that means Burst of Destiny. So uh 499. Let's see what the price. Yeah, yeah, it was three bucks. So it was this one. Let me see. All right. So we actually made money on the that made sense. That was a really cheap card for how good it was. Heavy storm. Let's keep going. All right. The unlimited $5.99. I think we spent five, right? No, $5.49. Okay, so we made 50 cents. I'm not mad about that. Brilliant fusion. I think brilliant fusion. People were really like like happy about those. The shop that sold us to them sold us super clean copies. They were like, ooh, this is a cool card. All right, $23.98. So we didn't make any money, but we're not getting killed yet. Lost 4%, not the worst thing ever. Draco sack. Let's see what that one got. When we get like way into the series and we have like multiple years at some point, I will uh I will do these ahead of time and like maybe we'll check on the current year and I'll just kind of review the other ones. Uh but you know, maybe we'll even start doing that this year because this is taking a little bit of time. Uh, if you like it longer, though, let me know if you like the uh, like maybe not because normally they're like 10 minutes, which is a little short. So this might be a happy medium for that. Uh, we made 5%. Not bad, which is not much, but it's something. Baron de Fleur. OK, now we're checking in on our rarity collection options. I think we did supers. Yeah, we did supers here. So let's rarity collection. What are these worth? 74 cents. Somehow these have gone down even more. Linda the Light Charmer, our big Starlight Rare. 288, you are also down, but who isn't? Dingirsu. All right, Dingirsu QCR going down already, 949. All right, Lava Golem. We bought a few of these QCRs. There's no way these are $20 still, right? There's no way. That'd be insane. Yeah, 1510. I was about to say, that would be pretty insane if they were. And that means we've lost about 25% on each of those, a little bit more on some of them. Evenly matched, uh, you are. So evenly matched. We went with the Ultras on this one. 
These are literally the same price. <laughs> so, okay. Moving on, uh, Lightning Storm. Let's see what you are doing, Lightning Storm. Are you holding up as well? Oh, this is my typing skills. They are not good. 85 cents. No, you are not holding up. Not great. Reasoning, our last card. I don't think this is going to get us back. What do we get, like an ultimate or something? Prismatic ultimate on this one. 53 cents. So... You aren't doing so hot either, which means this year we have already lost 5% and it's only been three months. Not off to a great start because usually the first three months is where you actually make something. So uh, overall, it, the investments these days in Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, as you can see, it's never been great, but it's getting worse and worse. It's just like slowly they get worse and worse and worse. So not awesome. If you guys enjoyed the series and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hopefully at some point, it will be worth buying cards and you're not going to like slowly just die. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nana Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.